So you're saying I can ask this cat any question? The cat is connected to the computer. You just type in the question, and it will read his mind. There the answer comes. You're the man! I've been looking for this for weeks. Here we're given a table of values for f of x, a graph of g of x, and the function rule for h of x. We're asked to determine the following composite function values given the input or value of x. So for our first example, when x equals negative one, we want to determine f of g of x. So if x equals negative one, this is equal to f of g of negative one. To evaluate this composite function, we start with the inner function value g of negative one. So we want to find the function value or y value of g of x when the input or x value is negative one. So looking at the graph of g of x, we first locate the x value of negative one, which would be here, and the output or function value would be the y coordinate of this point on the function. And therefore, g of negative one is equal to positive one. So this simplifies to f of positive one, since g of negative one equals positive one. And now we'll look at the table for f of x and find the output or y value when the input or x value is positive one. And here's where x equals positive one, and notice how the y value or function value is negative two. So negative two is the output when the input is positive one. And since f of one equals negative two, this is our composite function value. Next, we're given x equals one. We want to find f of g of the quantity x plus one. And since x equals positive one, this would be f of g of one plus one, or just f of g of two. So now again, we'll look at the graph of g and find the y value or function value when the input or x value is positive two. Here's where x equals positive two and therefore the y coordinate of this point would be our output or function value when the input is positive two. So notice how the y coordinate is negative one and therefore g of two equals negative one. So this would give us f of negative one. And now we'll go back to the table for f of x and find the output or y value when the input or x value is negative one. Here's where x equals negative one and notice how the output or y value or function value is positive three. So f of negative one equals positive three, which would be our composite function value. And now for our last example, when x equals four, we want to find h of the quantity f of x plus g of x. So if x equals four, this would simplify to h of f of four plus g of four. So going back to the table for f, we want to find the output or function value when the input or x value is four, which we see here, f of four is equal to positive three. So we have h of positive three plus, now we want to find g of four looking at the graph of g of x. So notice how when the input or x value is positive four here, the function value or y value is positive one. So now we have h of the quantity three plus one, which would be equal to h of four. Now here's the rule for function h of x. h of x equals x squared minus three. So to find h of four, we'll substitute four for x, which would give us four squared minus three, which would be sixteen minus three, or thirteen. So thirteen is our composite function value. I hope you found this helpful.